Hey guys, in this intro we're doing uh, something a little different. Um, so The Witcher is a very unique game. As you saw from my playthroughs, I did play through the entire first one. Um, and Fire Emblem Three Ounces took me a very, very long time to complete. So we are moving into The Witcher 2. However, in between Witcher 1 and Witcher 2, while completing Fire Emblem, I went ahead and read the entire Witcher book series. I've also seen the first season of The Witcher Netflix, so I have a lot more background on uh, this particular world. Some things of note, there will probably be spoilers from the books. So again, heads up, if you do not want to be spoiled by the books, you probably do not want to watch this playthrough, because I may be referencing it. I'm not 100% sure, depends on how connected these games are to the books. Um, but yeah, there is a lot that happens before these games start. So... <laughs> I'm going to find it very difficult not to reference them. Additionally, with me having seen the first season of The Witcher as well, uh, I'll probably be making comparisons and references to that show. Um, and, undoubtedly, I'll have seen the second season of The Witcher by the time we get to Witcher 3, so... As that show comes out, I'll probably reference that as well. As for Geralt's character, um, so th this is something interesting. Uh, having read the books, I'm, I want to make this really quick and concise, I promise. I am both pleased and frustrated by how they handled Geralt's character in The Witcher 1 after the books. Uh, again, spoilers from the books. The first couple books are very much about Geralt the Witcher. About... Um, the different adventures he goes on, the people he meets along the way. He does romp through some romances, there's some sex, there's some uh, intrigue, there is some very fun plot lines that, uh, that are very engaging and very twisty, I guess is the word I would use. It's very twisty to quote uh, Detective Pikachu, of all things. Very twisty. But it's true that there's a lot in those first two books that are very much about the uh, the smaller adventures, the simpler adventures, uh, where, again, he's taking on contracts, uh, just like in The Witcher 1. However, in the later books, when the actual overarching story kicks in, Geralt changes a lot as a person. He becomes less and less of your traditional Witcher, and more and more as a, a person of destiny, someone who is on a path that he can't escape from uh, not necessarily because he wants to because but because he feels like there's nothing else he can do like he has to protect siri he has to find her and save her um that is a path he's stuck on and and not only can he not move from that but he doesn't want to now that witcher that Geralt is very different from the Geralt we see in witcher one which is why i both enjoy it and dislike it on one hand, I do appreciate the fact that CD Projekt Red made an effort to give him amnesia and kind of reset his character quite a bit back to basically the time where he was that uh, traditional witcher um, who was going and, and doing all these contracts and getting into a lot of trouble and romping around and having a good time. So they kind of reverted to him and then used him as the main character. Which makes a lot of sense. Given Amnesia, given that opportunity, that character does make sense. So there's a lot of things I had an issue with his character in the game that now I can kind of understand why he's the way he is. However, with that being said, the world is so rich and so interesting and so lore heavy that I kind of wish they had gone with a different main character. Maybe not necessarily having Geralt. Now, now, I know that Geralt is a huge character in the series, and there's not really a whole lot of characters explored outside of him. But honestly, there's so much that happens in that world. We could have easily gone with, um, with like a Witcher that we didn't know about. There are multiple schools of Witchers that we know, um, specifically because uh, Bonnart actually has multiple medallions of different animals. Um, so that tells me that they have multiple schools that we could have explored with different attributes, a character creation. We could have gone through different schools. Um, it would have been really interesting. And I hope they do that with their next game because I know they talked about that with The Witcher before. 
But I wish they had done that instead of going with Geralt, whose story had pretty much been told and been completed. Now, if the writer, uh, and I'm going to butcher this name, and I'm so sorry, it's Sapkowski. Um, now, if he was involved in the actual creation of this story in these games, that's a whole other thing. Um, I'll have to go look that up after this fact. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. Okay, based on an interview that I saw, it does appear that he was not involved in the creation. Um, he just had some relatives uh, and basically allowed them to use his books for licensing purposes. Um, so that's interesting. So very, very interesting there. But, but once again, what I'm getting at is those stories were told. And I wish that CD Projekt Red had actually told new stories with new characters in the same world, not necessarily continued with Geralt, especially with what appears to be um, a lack of the major other players like Yennefer and Ciri, who are just massive characters um, that they left alone until uh, Witcher 3. It's just kind of strange. Um, but anyway, essentially what I'm coming down to is you may encounter some criticisms from me based on um, the games, the way they're written versus the books. Um, but I can see where they're coming from. I can definitely see them from where they're coming from. I'm going to treat the games as a separate entity as much as I can. But once again, it is based on a series of books that I have read at this point. So there may be some discrepancies that I'm going to point out, um, some references that I'm going to mention, um, as well as small little uh, Easter eggs that I'll probably get really excited about for some bizarre reason. And yeah, so I think that's all I really wanted to cover here. Um, we're gonna hop right in with Witcher 2, so uh, that's 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 that. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are having a great day. Take care, and I will see you in the coming video.